my YouTubians. What's going on? What's good? So, I'm here at this beautiful place called Springfield, Missouri. Look what I come across. Just sitting in the back of a gas station. Just sitting here. And you know it's a Pontiac. Yeah, we know this a Pontiac. Grand Prix. It's got the hideaway lights. I'm going to go in here and talk to these folks. Uh, I'm going to go in here and talk to these folks in a minute. I'm going to see what's the deal with this thing. I just happened to walk by, look at it. And it's been, you can tell it's been sitting here for a while. It's been sitting here for a good while. It's got Missouri stickers on it, so it's been in Missouri for a while. Y'all know how I am about these cars. If I see them, I come across them, I got to get them. I'm going to go ahead and see what... What's the deal? I'm going to go talk to somebody in here, see if they can give me some information on it. It's got rust on it. You see that rust pretty bad. This whole quarter panel is going to need fix. This whole quarter panel is going to need redone. But this will be a nice car. I'm actually trying to see if I can buy an old school and drive it back to Georgia when I get ready to go back to Georgia. Yeah, bumpers uh, look like they've been trying to pull something with it, with the bumper. Grand Prix GP. Yeah, she's got some rust to the quarters. She's got rust on the quarters. But, you know. Let's see how much rust she got on the back. Windows. It had a vinyl top on it. And, man, y'all know like I know. Them vinyl tops will rust the car out. Uh, let's see. This would be a nice hot rod. Put a good LS in it. That bee doing? He getting in there. I'm probably sure it's a whole bunch of bees. Oh, the interior look good. Oh man, look at that. That interior look good. That interior, it's okay. Oh, they got a buyer sticker. Like they just bought it off the lot from somewhere. Really can't read the information. 1967. It ain't got no numbers on it. I wonder if it's got a motor in it. I like to put an LS in this thing and turbocharge it, put some rims on it. Ooh, I like these lights. These are lights. If y'all don't know, these are lights right here. And it's just sitting down here, state of Missouri, just sitting in the back of a gas station, rotting it out. Well, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find out any information. If I get any information on it, you guys, I'll do a separate video, but God, she just looks mean. This thing looks mean as hell. Just imagine me pulling up on you with twin turbos on 26s. Ooh wee. All right, let me go see what to deal with with this car. And uh, I'm gonna try to make some more videos while I'm down here in the state of Missouri before I get back to Georgia. See what I can find and see if I can pick up some. Cool her out. All right. I just meant to tell you guys that, uh, so, yeah, I went in the store and I asked the guy about the car and stuff, and uh, it was an Indian guy that owned it, and I asked him, I said, uh, what's the deal with it? He said, there's no deal, I just got it parked back there, and uh, I guess it was a cashier, the cashier looked at it, he said, yeah, it's been parked there for 11 years, you ain't moved it. He said, well, it's not for sale, it's not for sale, and it was like, I said, look, man. I got money right now if, if we can work out a price on it. He ain't want to give, nah, he ain't want to do nothing. But you know, it's sad, man. It's it's really sad that people sit them cars out there like that. Now, remember I said this car sitting at a gas station, behind the gas station. You know, even though, you know, I'm not, I'm not from Missouri. I'm not from up here or nothing like that. But let me tell y'all something, man. It's sad that these people do this stuff. And he had a, he had a 60 mile Cadillac El Dorado in front of the store. He had a Harley Davidson motorcycle just sitting inside the store, but in in the corner over there by the coolers. You can tell it ain't raining a long time because all dusty and stuff. You know, uh, he had a spark plug wire missing off of it. And this guy just he just letting this stuff sit out there. Now you've seen like I seen you seen the rust on that car, and it just rust is like cancer. It's just gonna keep eating, and eating, and eating, it. and. Uh, the guy said, no, I'm not doing nothing with it. I said, look, I said, I'm willing to pay you cash right now for something, either the Harley or the Eldorado 
or the uh the grand prix and he didn't he said no no they're just gonna sit nothing's wrong with them they all run i just this with my cars he, he's old old indian guy and it's sad that people do that man they sit there and they get cars and they just let them sit like that and, and, and don't care and don't want to sell them so somebody else can leave, drive them do something with them and it's sad as hell man so guys i guess or you know what it may have been that he just didn't want to sell it to me and it probably a lot of people the way the the way the uh the clerk was looking at him and told him it's been sitting there for over 10 years he probably think like me like damn you know that's that's kind of messed up let them cars go if you ain't gonna do nothing with that old man ain't gonna do nothing with him and i know a lot of you people probably you don't know what he gonna do with but let me tell you something you seen around them tires of that car that car been sitting there for a long time this man old now i'm not saying that but look we don't know if we gonna live to see tomorrow you know what i'm saying and that's one reason why the cars that sat at my house that you see that I sold was my Dodge truck, my 63 Impala, uh, my 65 Buick. All them cars that I had, they, I know they were just going to sit because I didn't have time to attend to them. That's why I let them go. I didn't want to now. Don't get me wrong. It hurt. But, you know, I'd rather somebody else do something with them than just me just sitting there and let them rot. You know, I want them to be out here in the world like me. But I just came to give y'all guys this short video, man. Um, just I just added this on to the to the first video uh, I'm gonna try to get some more content for you guys I just don't have I just ain't been having time because like I said you know I'm traveling now from state to state and uh, which is a good thing because I get to see cars and I seen a don't I'm trying to buy a don't and it's one up here now that I'm trying to get man and uh the woman don't want to come she, she want to sell it but her price is she's asked I guess she's been watching too much YouTube she wants ridiculous price for it but it's uh it's clean but it's, it's just I ain't trying to pay that price and uh the price she wanted she came down like two hundred dollars i'm like what nah nah so if i can talk her out that don't i try to if i can get her out that don't i'll drive that thing back to georgia and we'll do a video on it to see if we make it back to georgia we don't make it back to georgia in it now hey i i guess i had to be paying thousand dollars for a record to come and pick me up outside the road but anyway yeah man uh i'll try to get some more contact for you guys soon man and uh just stay posted